Hello and welcome back to Today in History with Mr. Lavin. Mr. Lavin, last week you asked a question about a uh, baby that was kidnapped. What was the answer to that question? Okay, um, on the uh, 1st of March, 1932, uh, a baby was kidnapped, a child was murdered. And the question was, uh, who was the parent of that child? Was it A, Babe Ruth? Was it B, Charles Lindbergh? Was it C, uh, presidential candidate Franklin Roosevelt, or was it D, uh, aviatrix uh, Amelia Earhart? And the answer is? And the answer is it was Charles Lindbergh. So today, March 8th, what uh, occurred today? Well, first in 1913, uh, the Internal Revenue Service uh, levied <clears throat> and collected its first federal income tax under the new 16th Amendment. And in 1917, in Petrograd, Russia, the Russian Revolution began, uh, which would ultimately lead to the first modern communist state. A year later, uh, in 1918, the first confirmed case of Spanish flu was reported, and that would ultimately lead to one of the worst pandemics of flu in, in the history of the world. And then finally, uh, on this date, 1930, the New York Yankees signed slugger Babe Ruth to a two-year contract. Uh, the Yankees general manager said, and I quote, no one will ever be paid more than Babe Ruth. So the question for this week is, how much did the Yankees pay Babe Ruth in that 1930 contract? Was it A, $50,000, B, $110,000, C, $160,000, or D, $550,000? Pretty interesting stuff. You can find out the answer next week on Today in History with Mr. Levin. Okay, see you then. In the meantime, uh, wear your seatbelts.